Hello everyone. In this video, we we'll solve this interesting math question. Six root minus seven hundred twenty-nine is equal to what? How to solve this question? So I can see here is our answer is six answer. So let's start. I can see let let six root minus seven to nine is equal to x yes we are let this is equal to x now at this moment i can say easily this x is equal to and in this case i can say easily it will be minus seven to nine and hold to the power one over six yes we know that six root minus seven to nine it will be minus seven to nine and hold to the power one over six now at this moment if i use both side exponent and i mean power x to the power six and is equal to and in this case i can say that it is minus seven to nine and whole to the power and one over six times six yes i use both side whole to the power six then i can say that this six this six is cancel and we we'll find out here is x to the power six is equal to minus 7 to 9 and in this case according to uh, rules i can say it will be x to the power 6 plus i just move on this negative value in this side it will be positive so it will be 7 to 9 is equal to 0 yes now at this moment i can say uh, x to the power 6 it will be x to the power a 3 and whole to the power 2 yes x to the power 6 it will be x to the power 3 and whole to the power 2 and in this case I can say that here is 7 to 9 yes so it will be look minus 27 and I and whole to the power 2 because of that we know that 27 and whole to the power 2 27 into power is 2 it will be 7 to 9 yes but i square we know that according to complex rules i squared will be minus 1 so minus minus it will be positive 7 to 9 yes now at this moment according to algebra rules we know that a square minus b square it will be a plus b times a minus b so according to these rules i can say that a x to the power 3 plus 27 i times x to the power 3 minus 27i yes because of that we know that a cube minus b cube it will be a plus b times sorry a square minus b square will be a plus b times a minus b now at this moment we'll find out here is two case our first case is x to the power 3 plus 27i is equal to 0 yes and other case we'll find out here is x to the power 3 minus 27 i is equal to zero yes now at this moment i can say easily here is x to the power three yes and 27 i i can say that it will be minus three i and all to the power three yes look three to the power three it will be 27 and i to the power three it will be minus i because of that we know that i square it will be minus one so I can say i to the power 3, it will be uh, minus i, so minus minus it will be plus i, yes. Now e cube minus v cube, we you know that it will be a plus b, a minus b, here is minus 3i and a square plus 3a v plus b square so b square it will be 3 i whole square so 3 square will be 9 i square will be minus 1 so i can say that it will be minus 9 is equal to 0 then in this case i can say that x minus 3 is equal to 0 it is our first case and other case we'll find out here is x square plus 3 i x minus 9 is equal to 0 then i can say here is x is equal to 3i and in this case look we'll find out x squared plus 3i x minus 9 is equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation so in this case i can say here is x is equal to minus b and b is minus 3i plus minus according to quadratic rules square root b square so b is 3i 3i whole square it will be minus 9 and i can say here is uh, minus 
and minus 9 4 AC 4 times minus 9 it will be uh, minus 36 minus minus it will be plus 36 yes and a is 1 2 times a is 1 now at this moment I can see that here is x is equal to look uh, it will be minus 3i and plus minus square root 36 minus 9 it will be 27 over 2 yes is it right yes right because of that here is x is equal to look minus 3i and plus minus 27 square root 27 it will be square root i can see that eh? 9 times 3 yes over 2 9 times 3 it will be 27 then we'll find out here is x is equal to minus 3i plus minus it will be 3 root 3 square root of 9 it will be 3 and square root 3 it will be square root 3 over 2 this is our final answer and then again we find out other equation x cube minus 27 i is equal to 0 so how to solve this question so I, I solve this question again this method so look here is x to the power 3 mm, yeah minus 27 i i guess easily it will be plus 3 i whole to the power 3 look 3 to the power 3 it will be minus 27 and i to the power 3 it will be minus i i can see this so in this case i can see uh, a cube minus v cube it will be a plus b yeah a plus b times a square minus so minus 3 i x and my plus b square but 3 i whole square it will be minus 9 is equal to 0 yes now in this case we find out here is two case or first case is x is equal to minus 3i yes this is our first case because of that this is equal to this i mean this is equal to zero it will be x is equal to minus 3i but other case we find out here is x to the power 2 minus 3i x minus 9 is equal to zero so in this case i can say that again uh, here is x is equal to minus 3 it will be plus 3i plus minus square root look minus b minus minus it will be plus 3i and b square so minus 3i whole square it will be minus 9 and it will be plus 36 because of that 4 times minus 9 it will be minus 36 and formulas minus it will be minus minus plus over 2a a is 1 then in this case we'll find out here is x is equal to 2 and here is 3i and here is plus minus look here is square root minus 9 plus 36 it will be square root positive 27 so square root 27 it will be 3 root 3 yes this is our other answer so our final answer is x is equal to 3i plus minus 3 square root 3 over 2 and our answer is x is equal to minus 3i and x is equal to positive 3i yes this is our other answer and we'll find out our final answer is x is equal to minus 3i plus minus 3 root 3 over 2 so this is our final answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care